اعوذبلّہمنشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ مسلی علی محمد و علیہ و اصحاب ہی اجمعین ولدین تبا ہم بے حسان الدین دس اسٹوری واز تھوڑ بائی محمد پیس بی اپن ہیم اینڈ واز ہرڈ بائی امام علی دا سن آف ابو طالب اینڈ دا فادر آف حسن اینڈ حسین رادی اللہ انہم اجمعین اینڈ از ریکارڈیڈ ان دا بکس آف حدیث is the story of three bulls and a lion. In some narrations it's said that it was three bulls and a wolf. Um, story begins like this. Once upon a time there were three bulls. A red bull, a black bull and a white bull. And they were friends. And they walked together, ate together, and if anybody attacked them, they fought together to defend each other. One day, a lion came, and he saw the three bulls eating grass in a field, and the bulls looked very delicious. So the lion thought, how am I going to eat these bulls? They're big, and I cannot defeat them together. How am I going to separate them, divide them so that I can eat them one at a time? So he thought of a plan. He waited until one of the bulls, the black one, was far away from the other two. And he sneaked up to him and he spoke to him. I said, Psst. And the bull looked up but couldn't see anybody because the lion was sneaking up on him and he was hiding in the long grass. So the lion came, cl- came closer and shouted a bit louder. Psst, psst. Hello, black bull. This time the bull looked up and he saw the lion and he was scared. He thought the lion was going to eat him. So he moved back carefully and cautiously. The lion said to him, don't be scared. I want to be your friend. The bull said, how can you be my friend? Lions don't be friends with bulls. Lions eat bulls. The lion said, no, not me. I don't eat bulls. I'm a vegetarian. The bull thought, oh yeah, really? So I said, yeah. And in any case, I'm going to help you. I like you. I want to be your friend. I want to help you so that your life can be better. So the bull spoke to the lion for a bit and then the lion went away. A few days later he came back. Again he sneaked up to the black bull where no one was looking and he spoke to him for a bit and he went away. A few days later he came back and he kept coming back and talking to the bull until one day he said to the black bull, he said, look at that white bull. The way he walks, he thinks he's so bad or he thinks he's so big, or he thinks he's so um, wonderful. He thinks he's better than you. He thinks he's the leader. And he's eating more than his fair share of the grass in the field. The black bull said, well, no, not really. He's my friend. I've known him for a long time. He goes, yeah, but look at him. He thinks he's so bad. He thinks he's better than you. And then the lion went away. And the bull, the black bull, kept thinking about what the lion had said. A few days later, the bull, uh, the lion came back. And again he said to him, look, look at that white bull, the way he's walking, so arrogantly, as if he's the king of the field. Let me deal with him for you. The black bull goes, what do you mean? He goes, don't worry, just... I'll, I'll deal with him. All you have to do is, is take the red bull and move away from the white bull so that if he calls, you're far away. And don't come because he's just 
He's just arrogant and he's going to be pretending. So the white the black bull talked to the red bull and walked away from the white bull and went to another part of the field. And while they were away, the lion attacked the white bull and killed him. When the white bull was calling out for help, and say, my brothers, my friends, where are you? I'm being attacked. Please help. The red bull wanted to come and help, but the black bull said, no, he's just pretending. Let's keep eating grass. And so while they were busy eating grass far away, the lion killed the white bull and ate him up, only leaving the bones on the grass. And when the black bull and the red bull found the bones, they felt bad. And the lion wasn't seen for a long time. The black bull thought that the lion was never, not going to come again. But some months later, one day when the red bull was eating grass on one side of the field and the black bull was eating grass on the other side of the field, the lion came back again, sneaked up to the black bull and said, Psst, psst, it's me, the lion. The black bull said, oh, I thought you were gone. How come you're back? He goes, how are you enjoying your greater prosperity? The black bull said, what do you mean? He goes, you know, you're much richer now than before. Before you used to share a one third. You used to have one third of the field. Now you've got half of the field. Which is more? One third or half? The black bull said, half is bigger than one third, definitely. Because so now you're richer than before. I know you feel a bit bad that the white bull is dead, but look at it this way. Now you have more grass to eat. And you can get, grow even bigger and stronger. The black bull thought, hmm. And then the lion went away. And some time later, the lion came back. And he said, how are you? And the black bull said, I'm okay. He goes, but what about the red bull? I think he's eating more than his fair share of the grass. Look, he's, got, he's taken over more than half of the field. He's taken his, his half and a little bit of your half. The black bull thought, hmm, maybe it's true. He looks like he's eating grass on my half of the field. Then the lion said, why don't you let me deal with him for you? The black bull said, I don't want him to die. He goes, no, no, don't worry about that. Just if he calls you, don't come and help. Just go to the other side of the field and eat grass. The black bull wasn't too happy about that, but he didn't also say no to the lion. So the lion went away. Another day he came when the black bull was far away from the red bull and he attacked the red bull. The red bull called out to the black bull said, My brother, my friend, quick, come and help me. A lion is trying to eat me. But the black bull, he looked up. He saw the lion attacking the red bull. But he didn't come. He kept eating grass. And he stayed on his half of the field. And the lion ate the red bull and only the bones were left. And so the black bull had the whole field to himself, eating as much grass as he likes. And he was king of the field at last, with nobody to challenge him. And some days later, the lion stopped coming and he felt lonely. Yes, he was king of the field. And he could eat as much grass as he likes, but he couldn't eat all the grass in the field. It just wouldn't fit in his belly. And he missed the white bull and the red bull. And the lion didn't come, so he had no friends. He was all alone. And he felt sad. And then one day, the lion came up to him. And this time, for the first time, he didn't sneak up. He came walking proudly in front of the black bull and walked right in front of him and said you look tasty the black bull said 
What do you mean? You're vegetarian and you're supposed to be my friend. He goes, now I was just pretending. Don't you know that lions can't be friends with bulls? Because lions eat bulls. And then the black bull said, You can't kill me because I'm already dead. What do you mean, said the lion. He said, You killed me the day when you killed the white bull and he called out to me and I did not come. I died that day. I'm already dead. And that's the end of the story of the three bulls and the lion. Narrated by Imam Ali who heard it from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who told this story so that the Muslims can learn from this story. Thank you for listening.